Tourism in India. I'm just uh, giving an introduction to what is what is this program about. So as we all know, the recent incident of the death of our brother, so it again brought the, our attention towards the vulnerability or the insecurity or the fear of the Muslim community in this nation or the hatred they are going through in this nation. So some days back we have remembered or we have remembered the two years of forceful disappearance of Najib from the same same location. Some days back we have remembered the two, uh, the anniversary of the Badla House encounter. And yesterday also there was a uh, court verdict came on Hashimbura massacre. There was a police killing of uh, like uh, 60 Muslims killed by police shootout. So this whole incident, Najib or uh, Hashimbura or Badra House, this all remembers us about the vulnerability or insecurity of Muslims in, the, in this nation. So the vulnerability or insecurity or fear of Muslims in this nation, that, that, that didn't start with uh, Narendra Modi. That didn't start with this, this new government that is in power uh, in 2014. That started long back from the independence. The in insecurity of Muslims started from long back it, is, it started from the independence of this nation. So about Muslims, the independence of this nation is the starting point of the insecurity, the vulnerability in this nation. So it's a kind of unique thing that is happening in all over the world. No minority, no minority in ever the world has been persecuted like this. Now, like uh, we have lots of minorities in lots of countries, like we have the example of Sri, Sri Lanka. There was, there was civil war happening in many countries, like minorities are being, uh, fighting for their own rights. Like in Sri Lanka, uh, Tamilans were fighting. At least, the thing is that, at least in Sri Lanka, they are able to fight. The Tamilans are, they are powerful enough to have a civil war. But what is the case of Muslims in this nation? We are not even able to speak about what is happening to us. What our secular friends are saying to us. Our, our secular friends, the media, the politicians, the secular politicians, all of them are saying to us, like, you don't speak about what is happening to you. You don't speak about Najib. You don't speak about Asim. You don't speak about, then if you speak, then uh, the uh, BJP will come into power. They will become powerful. So you don't speak about. So, like, we are not even able to speak about what is happening to us. We are not able to organize. We are not able to fight. We are not able to, like, I don't want to say that, uh, we are not able to even speak about what is happening to us. That is the condition in this nation. So, it's like, uh, if, if we wanted to go forward, if we wanted to go forward, if we wanted to come out of this, we need to, uh, we need a language to articulate through. We need a language to organize our politics. It's not just about victimhood. Muslim, it's not just about victimhood or just about emotion. Like, I don't dare to say that emotions are not part of politics. Our, our politics is coming from emotion. When our, when our little brother is being dead, we will be emotional. That's our ethical concern. That's our sincerity. We will be concerned about him. We will, we will protest. That's our ethical concern. But about politics, that's not enough. We need a language to articulate. We need a politics to build up. So I I request uh, there are lots of speakers to to talk to you about more about the issue. So only thing that I wanted to tell you, only thing that I wanted to tell you is that we need to build some kind of language, some kind of politics in this nation to to resist this. That is not about uh, that is not only about victimhood. That is not that is not only about talking uh, talking and talking and talking about just our victimhood. That is not about simply about emotions. That's something we need to demand to this nation, something we need we need to attain from this nation or whatever you call nation or something else. So I'm concluding with my words. So I request Azerbaijan to